Good morning and welcome to day two of the Big Summit AFGO. Today's the easy day, just uh, 5,000 meters of climbing and the uh, tourmalet. On the plus side, only about 110 k's, so we might be done quicker than we were yesterday. So what's the first climb we're hitting? Kodobisk, then Solar, then Tourmalet. Yeah, so really, two climbs today, it's up and down, up and down. I think that's better than yesterday, which was like 10 really short steep climbs and then the mountains. You ready, Paul Dog? Nearly. Pack in, pack in. Oh, fuck off. All right, just a quick stop. Refuel, get some water back in the bottles. Done a thousand meters, so less than a quarter. It's gonna be mentally a lot easier to deal with when we do the descents and the K's start ticking away really quick. Legs all right after yesterday? Ah, uh, yeah, not too bad. Not brilliant, but I guess that's the top. Must go right round. There's a hell of a lot of cyclists around here. There's always a hotel and it looks like it's the top and then it never actually is the top and we've still got 2K to go. So how was it? It was all right, every now and then. There'd be a little pitch, you know, just rise up a little bit and that, that kind of hurt a bit. Mate, so much easier than yesterday, so far. I know it's going to get hard later, but no, without the heat, like it's hot up here, but it's not no, 32 degrees. That, you can feel that breeze. There's a reason why there's loads of cyclists at the top of here yeah. and none at the top of yesterday's <laughs> fucking arsehole of a climb. Yeah, <laughs> bikes. Literally that, that's put all, bikes right? So yeah, first big climb done. We've got a little bit of like, kind of false flat. Another peak, which is the top of another coal, and then descent all the way, Tourmalet, home. Well, a little bit of a snag. Uh, we just took the drone for a quick flight and lost it. So for the last hour, we've been like running around, found the last known coordinates, but unfortunately it wasn't there. Don't know if someone's nicked it or, or it's actually flown a bit further because it lost signal. But yeah, if you're at the top of, uh, what's this climb called? Col d'Orbisque. You find a drone. Give it back. Give it back, please. <laughs> right, 30k of descent. So, little bit of really, really good descent. We're now about to hit the top of the second little coal, and then it's massive descent all the way to the bottom, flat for a bit, and then like slight drag to the bottom of the tourmalet, which is gonna be tough, and we've, uh, well, we're a little bit behind schedule, let's just say that. If we have to climb at sunset, we've got to climb at sunset. It's only a bike ride. Round two. We have course. A little bit. So it was the route that was wrong, not me. What? Yeah, no. Oh. But you made the route. No. Does this make the route shorter or longer? This might be a good thing. Is your Wahoo working? The route is not working, not the Wahoo. But it's fine, we're on the right road. Are we? Yeah. Because I'm riding GPS, yeah. don't think you can plot it to be road only. Right, bottom of the tourmalet. How was your descent in the van? Scary. It's pretty scary on a bike, I'll admit. I'm just worried the brakes are just gonna go. Oh, I've learned how to do that. I mean, it's quite a good bike lane, this. It's all right, isn't it? It's not shit. Yeah. Maybe the best in the world. No, you'll see in Switzerland. So we're doing a bit of research, weren't we? Into the Tourmalet. What was the uh, maximum gradient that we're going to hit? 34.9. It's got to be a hairpin, right? It can only be like a metre long, surely. I guess we'll find out. So for the people who missed the interview a few episodes ago, why have you chosen Movember to raise money for, for the AFGO? Uh, they're a charity that support uh, not just mental health, but prostate and testicular cancer as well. I've seen my own little crusade for raising awareness of mental health, suicide prevention, after suffering a bit myself and a couple of years ago I decided I couldn't take it anymore. I attempted suicide twice. I thought, as soon as I'm on the road to recovery, I wanted to do something about it and help people if I can. 
whether that's just through being open, you know, and telling, telling people you're not alone, whether it's just through getting as much exposure as I can and raising as much money as possible for charity. Just want to do some good, man. Yeah, well, I think you definitely are. It's a pleasure to be part of it. I'm going to put the camera away now, kid. Out of breath. Isn't it funny in the heat how you crave savoury food? We've been looking for crisps for the last day. Really? <laughs> yeah, what well, you found? Oh, i got to breathe in. Sorry, I need to put the top under this. We're standing still on ground we've broken. So I've dumped my camera in the van. A couple of kilos less for this uh, ascent of the Tourmalet. It's definitely getting very steep towards the top. But totally worth it because. Well, look at this. Absolutely insane. Climbs like this that are really long. Sometimes it's good to settle into your own rhythm. So me and Nick have split for now. Regroup at the top, tackle the descent together. This is some serious shit. It's been a well hard ascent. Oh, my camera's back. Tourmalade, done. Reunited with my camera. That was so worth it. Look at that. You see Nick? Not yet. I didn't think this was the top when I was looking up at it. I was like, that's too far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How on earth is that going to be the top? Yeah. But it is. <laughs> You're right. <sighs> yeah. Not as bad as yesterday. Nah. Because it cooled down at the top, didn't it? The gradients were a little bit kinder. <coughs> that's ridiculous. It just keeps going. Yeah. It's worse when you can see the top, it just doesn't get any closer. No. <laughs> You can see the top from pretty much the bottom as well. I'd like to say downhill all the way home, but, <coughs> but it's not. Thanks, mate. So now we've got a mega descent and then a little bit of uphill before the hotel, but should be okay. I'm gonna try and spin the legs on the descent and then, uh, oh, are you cramping? Fucking. Oh, yeah, mother. Oh, fuck off. That descent was crazy good. 7k, 6k, all uphill. Just what we wanted. The cold ass span. We were only doing a little bit. Oh look, there's literally a sign that says the percentage on it. 2%, yeah. Well, we've had it all today. 1k to go and it started raining. Well, I hope it's 1k anyway. Just went past the hotel. It wasn't old. Why are the raindrops so big? That was lucky. Uh, so tomorrow's interesting. It's another 170k and um, 4,000 meters. It's more, but I think we've cut off a bit today. We start in the Cold Aspam, then Parasaur, then Porte d'Aspe. We finish on the Cold Port, so four climbs tomorrow. Yeah, nothing as long as steady as the Tourmalet then. No, I mean, we're, we're starting at, we're already quite quite high and it tops out at 1500 but just more bangers tomorrow man this map is so hard to read 